Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss how can you control your fasting high blood glucose levels. There is a saying, I am not ill. My pancreas is just lazy. It is to show that pancreas is not working properly. I am Dr. Jagaji Singhvir, MBBS, FCGP, FAMS, PGDGM. How you can control your blood glucose at the fasting levels? Number one is exercise regularly. It helps you maintain your body weight. Exercise increases the insulin sensitivity in your body. You can have exercise snacks in the form of spikes of exercise. Just like peak eight exercises, when you do the exercise for a minute and take rest afterwards, you can do weight lifting. That will also involve your muscles. You can have brisk walking or running or swimming or cycling. All these exercises are helpful in maintaining your blood glucose levels. Control your carbohydrate intake. When you control your carbohydrate intake, your spikes are avoided. Carbs break down into glucose and the low carbs gives you low sugar spikes. Low carb diets or no carb diet are, there is a difference between low carb diet and no carb diet. Because in low carb diets, you have stimulation of insulin at a very low level. It doesn't spike. But in no carb diet, you don't get insulin in the blood. Whole grains versus refined carbs. Whole grains diet, the absorption will be much smoother. Whereas in refined carbs, the absorption is immediate and you will get a glucose spike and along with that, you will get an insulin spike. Increase your fiber intake. Slow, the fiber slows the carbohydrate digestion and sugar absorption because it inhibits rapid absorption of your carbohydrates. And there are two types of fibers, insoluble and soluble fibers. Soluble fibers are better for managing your sugars, especially in type 1 diabetes mellitus. We can get the fibers from vegetables, fruits, legumes, and whole grains. 25 grams of fiber is required for women and 35 grams for men. Drink enough water to stay hydrated. Water regulates blood glucose levels. It prevents dehydration and moreover, it flushes out extra glucose in your urine and you should avoid sweetened beverages and instead use a simple RO water or boiled water. Implement portion control. Calorie control and weight control are two synonymous things. You, if you control your calories, you can control your weight. 
a healthy blood sugar levels will be attained if you implement the portion control. And that will prevent your spikes of glucose as well as insulin. How can you implement that portion control? Measure and weigh your portions all the times. Use smaller plates for your eating. Avoid all you can eat in the restaurants. Read food labels and check the serving sizes on the labels. Keep a food journal just to know what you are taking and how much you are taking. Eat slowly whenever you start eating. These are the few precautions you can get to implement your portion control. Choose foods with low glycemic index. Your How quickly carbs break down during digestion and how rapidly your body absorbs them depends upon the glycemic index of food. And low glycemic uh, index foods lower blood glucose levels because they don't uh, absorb very quickly and give you spikes. Glycemic index is range is uh, 0 to 100 and below 55 glycemic index are low low glycemic index food like bulgur or dalia barley unsweetened greek yogurt oats beans lentils legumes whole wheat pasta and non-starchy vegetables. All these are low glycemic index foods. Adding protein or uh, healthy fats minimize spike. When you add proteins and healthy fats in, in your carbohydrates, that will also minimize the glycemic index or the absorption power of your uh, food to give you rapid spikes of the glucose. So it is very important that always use proteins and healthy fats along with your carbohydrates. Control stress levels. Stress affects your sugar levels because two main hormones are secreted. One is glucagon from the pancreas and cortisol from your adrenal gland. These both hormones uh, affect your sugar levels and increase your sugar levels. Whereas the exercise, relaxation techniques and meditation, all these lower your stress levels and your sugar levels. Yoga and mindfulness related stress reduction is also there because you can use these modalities to lower your stress level as well. Monitor your blood glucose levels regularly with home glucometer shoes the tracking allows adjustments because you may come to know whether one food is giving you higher values of glucose in the blood or the other one is giving you the low value of glucose in the blood. You will track it and you can adjust your portion sizes and your uh, quality or quantity of food before or after exercises or two hours after meals, you can get your reading from glucometer. Daily log to adjust foods and medications. You can adjust your medication as well when you use your glucometer 
to know about your glucose levels in the blood. Get enough quality sleep. Good sleep is giving you good health. Poor sleeping habits will cause you your, your blood glucose and insulin sensitivity impaired. Affects appetite, hormones, and weight gain. When you don't get quality sleep, your appetite will be increased and you will take more of your calories and you can get your weight gain. Deprivation raises cortisol. When there, are, there is hunger or there is uh, less calories, your cortisol will be increased to give you more liver glucose in the blood. Seven to eight hour quality sleep per night is the normal and uh, you will have to take seven to eight hours quality sleep daily. Deprivation of sleep will definitely give you stress and cortisol will increase and you will get higher values of glucose in the blood and spikes will be there. To improve quality of your sleep, you are to follow these layers. Follow a sleep schedule. You must sleep every day at the same very time. Avoid caffeine and alcohol late in the day. Get regular exercise daily. Cut down on screen time before bed of your iPad, your mobile or your computer. And keep your bedroom cool. Limit your naps in the day. Create a bedtime routine. Use soothing and calming scents such as lavender. And avoid working in your bedroom. Take a warm bath or shower before bed. And try meditation or guided imagery before going to your bed. Get foods rich in chromium and magnesium. Micronutrients for diabetes mellitus and glucose control Chromium for carbohydrate and fat metabolism is essential and potentiate action of insulin. We can get this chromium from meats, whole grain products, fruits, vegetables and nuts. Magnesium also reduces risk of diabetes mellitus and we know that every molecule of uh, glucose need 55 54 or 55 molecules of magnesium to get metabolized. It's very, very essential. Magnesium-rich foods are dark leafy greens, squash and pumpkin seeds, tuna, whole grains, dark chocolate, bananas, avocados and beans. All these have enough magnesium. Apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar reduces blood sugar levels by delaying the emptying of your stomach after a meal. Always dilute it with another beverage, water, salted tea, or by mixing it into your food. <coughs> Sorry. Only consume approximately two tablespoonful per day. It was a Japanese study that suggested apple cider vinegar may promote weight loss. On a short-term basis, groups taking apple cider vinegar saw significant improvement in blood glucose levels 30 minutes after consuming the vinegar. Experiment with cinnamon extract. Enhancing insulin sensitivity, slowing breakdown of carbs, and slow down spikes. Try berberine. Stimulating enzyme breakdowns of carbohydrates with berberine. Promote tissue use of sugar. Produced insulin more. 
with berberine taking 600 to 2700 milligram of berberine daily may lower fasting and long term blood sugar levels by up to 20% and 12% respectively fasting 20% and long term blood sugar 12% very effective eat fenugreek seeds help blood sugar management the seeds contain fiber and other chemicals that may slow digestion and the body's absorption of carbohydrates and sugar. The seeds may also help improve how the body uses sugar and increases the amount of insulin released. Fenugreek seeds to lower food glucose level is between 2.5 to 15 grams daily. lose some weight. Weight management. A 10% reduction in weight can result in a 30 to 40% reduction in diabetes related deaths. 15% reduction in HbA1c which is the average uh, blood glucose level of 3 months. 30 to 50% reduction in fasting glucose and 10% reduction in total cholesterol. Without doubt, weight loss should be a gold standard for type 2 diabetes. Eat healthy snacks more frequently. So spreading the meals throughout the day is very, very essential. And smaller, more frequently snacking is important. It lowers HbA1c. Eat probiotic rich foods. Microbiota better glucose management. Your microbiome, your bacteria in your gut all manage your glucose. Consume multiple species of probiotics and for at least 8 weeks. This you can get from yogurt as long as the label states that it contains live active cultures. Not from your uh, pasteurized milk or pasteurized uh, food. Kefir, you can have tempeh, sauerkraut, and kimchi. All these uh, uh, foods contain enough number of microbiota. Now join my webinar by clicking here. Thank you very much.